Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 22nd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking here, the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms, active earth-facing sunspot, bright region, northern hemisphere there, producing a C-class solar flare, two sizable C-class solar flares produced in the past 24 hours. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, as we do have a region on the right-hand side that did fire off a backside CME from either a flare or a filament. Looking at outgoing, a little earth to scale there as well. Large plasma filaments on both hemispheres right now. And big solar prominence along the equator there. Looking at multi-spectrum, you can see the active areas. Two C-class flares coming out and as well crusting a bright active region. want to thank you all for tuning in to The Daily Do, giving you your world update. Much love and welcome all of the new family members to the channel. Don't forget to hit your notifications as there are settings for it. Be sure to set to all if you don't want to miss any updates. Quick look here, 171 angstroms turning away coronal hole, that blackened region in the bottom right-hand side of our sun. And it looks like another coronal hole developing ahead of the cresting fiery region, top left-hand side. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range right now after seeing heightened activity today. Two C-class solar flares, earth-facing position, geomagnetic activity remains low, seeing it at KP1, real-time solar wind, going down ahead of a new space weather event 330 kilometers per second right now after being up over 450 earlier today looking at the sun's energy leaving the surface with lasco 2 here showing the backside cme all the energy taking off top left hand side iswa space prediction spiral showing Pretty sizable CME blasting off from our sun. Just missing Mercury and on its way to the Parker Solar Probe. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 35. Seeing quite a healthy spike just recently. Quality of 8.6, power of 16. Let's get to earthquakes. It's been a very busy day. I did put out an earthquake update video earlier today. Started out with a 6.2 earthquake, La, Las Brisas, Mexico, followed by a 4.5. No aftershocks since then, but minor activity up into Utah and as well, White City, New Mexico, 2.7s there, 2.8, Corrine, Utah, and that is towards Salt Lake. Having a look at USGS, sitting at about 208 earthquakes across the USGS map. Minor activity north of Salt Lake there. And as well, minor activity continues atop Mount Rainier. And of course, all up the San Andreas Fault. And noticeable new earthquake swarm, Salton Sea area. Only seeing about 15 earthquakes in the region. But showing here yesterday's events. Solomon Islands, 7.2, followed by many aftershocks through the region. You gotta wonder what's happening over here. Solomon Islands, New Caledonia, and down into the Kermadec Trench. Activity continuing through Alaska, 4.6 being the largest. 4.5 earthquake here, Kamchatsk, Russia off of Kamchatka. Izu Islands, 4.6. Philippines with a 4.7 here and 5.1 Tual, Indonesia, 70 kilometer depth. India plate seeing some action. Afghanistan, 
4.5. Zengai, China, and Kazakhstan with a 4.3. Seismographs across the world are going nuts right now. Malta, 4.6. That is just south of Mount Etna. And as well, a 5.2 earthquake ringing out today. Azores Islands region. South America, still way too quiet for my liking. And as well, through Central America. Heads up, stay safe, stay aware, prepared. Waiting for something to buckle. South America, Central America, up into the Cascades. Hashtag no fear here. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Sharing with you all of the daily earthquakes across the world as we embark on an epic journey through our solar system and through the Milky Way. This is a look at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. Notice the quiety, the quiet earthquakes through South America and as well Cascadia. Heads up. Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well most recent volcanoes getting updated. Reventador in Ecuador. Sangue in Ecuador. Many flood alerts here, 165 hazards. So we're just going to fish through these here looking for volcanoes. Nevada Ruas, Colombia, Popo Paquetito, Mexico, Sabancaya, and Peru. Carrying on here. Windy, stormy conditions, east coast, and as well through Alberta, Semeru, Indonesia. So that's about Nine volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 48 active and erupting across the world. Quick glance at satellite imagery showing cloud cover across the world. Lots of cloud cover hanging around through a convergence line over Australia. As well, heavy rains moving into Taiwan and southern India. Snowstorms raging through parts of Russia and northern China. And as well, atmospheric river from the Atlantic now flooding into most of Europe, Spain, France, Great Britain, and then into Italy. They had some pretty stormy conditions, torrential downpours, downpours and hail. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide being affected by natural disasters, earthquakes, volcanoes, and of course extreme weather. Quick glance here at the wind models for the next few days. This is a forecast from windy.com showing some vigorous systems coming out of eastern Canada and one of those is a Pacific storm as it penetrates over uh, Pacific Northwest United States, then heads into Ontario. This is set to bring some up really above normal temperatures and strong winds, but winter will be on the backside of that storm. But most of Ontario and Eastern Canada are going to see above seasonal temperatures. Overlooking the rest of the world, windy conditions will be heading through the Mediterranean this week. And as well, off the shores of China, looking at a very vigorous Pacific. Most of these systems, low-pressure systems, will be heading into Alaska, northern BC. Very large systems just kind of raking along the coastline, but set to bring some moisture through northern parts. As we could see, up to 300 centimeters falling in parts of Alaska. Leave you here looking at forecast models for moisture. And of course, those little snowflakes falling in behind there. Snowfall for the next little while. And moisture. World weather forecast, earthquake update, volcano update, and of course, a look at space weather today. I hope you enjoyed the Daily Do. And again, welcome all of the new followers. Thank you so much for joining the channel and as well joining the family. I appreciate all of the new memberships as well really goes to help further research and productions here with daily events. 
Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Winter is right around the corner. Look at this system here. Going to bring some heavy snow amounts in the long range forecast. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.